Hey guys, welcome back. We're still playing Thomas. Can you believe it? How many videos in? I think we played more videos of Thomas than we probably played of the other characters. Uh, yeah, this is like video nine or something. This is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I always kind of thought that my life was boring until I play Thomas's levels. <laughs> Sorry, this and then is... it doesn't seem so boring. This is video 10. Also, it's worth pointing out. We're playing through Thomas's chapters, and it's like it, Thomas's entire story for the entire game. So we're going to go ahead and actually beat the game in this chapter. <laughs> and then we'll get to go back to the other characters and find out how Thomas saved the day. Exactly. Yeah. Thomas, Thomas, we're going to take him to the final boss, man. All the way. All the way. Right now, in this video. You guys don't even know who the final boss is yet, but man, are we going to take him there? <laughs> For all we know, the final boss could be Thomas. <laughs> this is his origin story. <laughs> the, the, yeah, his, or this, we get to learn his backstory before we find out he's evil. It's like when I watch Star Wars out of order, I watch them in numerical order. <laughs> Everyone still gets on me for that. They're like, what was wrong with you? And I was like, I'm sorry, my Asperger's kicked in. I watched him in numerical order. For, for, for the correct order, folks, the correct order is what's called the Machete Order. Which has been published by some website that has something to do with machetes, I don't know what. But anyway, but they have the right <laughs> order posted, and it does amazing things to the story. You should go do it in that order, if you're going to watch the prequel trilogy at all. So. For Star Wars. Okay, so Thomas. Yeah. Shizu, does it work now? Yes, everything shakes out fine. It's clean and oiled to perfection. The elevator we're talking about here. <laughs> Can we ride it? Yes, this will be our test run. Welcome aboard. Should I mention that it's been probably a month since we've recorded? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know what day of the week it is. Well, to be fair, we kind of all had some stuff going on in the last month. Yeah. And if anyone wants to know, because I've actually had people asking me how work is going, work is going amazing right now. Like, we, I finally got through all the drama. Well, I still have one little bit of drama, but, you know, in comparison, that's fine. But everything's been all good now, so... Budahoo Castle, second floor, home to the Master's Quarters, the Library, and the Hall of Statues. I almost made a reference to Are You Being Served, but none of y'all are gonna get that. Including me. <laughs> wow, amazing! It's the second floor! Right to the second floor, just like that? I like elevators! <laughs> and on to the next floor. I'm kind of in a weird mood today. I mean, like, just to show off how weird I am, I started talking before we hit the record button. <laughs> yeah, like doing your countdowns and, like, timing synchronization stuff. <laughs> You're like, we're not recording. Yeah. I'm, like, looking down to make sure I'm using the right microphone. No, I'm not making that mistake again. Boohoo Castle, first floor, the grand lobby, dining room, and great hall. We're back here again. Hey, oh, hey we... this is back where we started. It's my voice. <laughs> we try to stop at every floor. If no one wants off here, we'll move to the next floor. It always confused me earlier. Like, when I first played this, I thought she was going to go up a floor again. I was like, wait, there's a third floor? Mm-hmm. The secret third floor. I think we all get in the elevator exactly the same way every time. Well, I mean, that's just how you do it, right? This is my corner. Budahoo Castle, basement level. The warehouse is located here. You can also get to the ship from here. Wow, she knows a lot about this castle considering all she's done is stare at the elevator. Yeah, somebody helpfully posted signs. On the walls that we can't see from our camera angles. This makes it a lot easier to bring goods into the castle. Don't exceed the weight limit. <laughs> Sorry. When she looked at him and said that, I was like, but he's been writing it the whole time! <laughs> this is... This is one of the first elevators ever built. The design hasn't been perfected yet. Eh, wait, hold on. So, are they trying to say that they built this elevator before... the ones in Suikoden 1 and 2? It was one of the first ever built. They didn't say it was the first ever built, necessarily. Yeah... I'll let that go. <clears throat> oh! Now, on to the next floor. Was it the second floor of the basement? I, I can't remember how many basement floors there are. Uh, I think there's two, or is it three? I think there are two. I think the, the prisons. Prisons? 
dun dungeon. I think the dungeon would be more appropriate here, is on the uh -huh. second basement floor. I guess we'll find out when we get here. She, she knows better than we do. Go to castle, basement, second level. Here you'll find the vault in the old dungeons. 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 Ho 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 ho. My legs start to give out with age. It's been a long time since I've been down here. So you're okay with walking all over the place and fighting a boar, but you don't want to go down the stairs. Exactly. Now you're catching on. Okay. This is incredible, Shizu. It's just like when I was a kid. You're still a kid. <laughs> It seems the elevator here is quite happy to be working again, too. That's right. It always looked so sad to me before. To me as well. Well, let's go on to the next floor. Wait, what? Huh? The, the next floor? Yeah, wait. There's a third basement? Or is she talking about the third floor? Are we gonna go all the way back up again? The secret third floor. Wait, so how many buttons were there? Five? I don't know, but we're going down. So there'd be second, first, basement, basement two, and this level, I guess. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm surprised that they were that detailed. The molten core of the earth. <laughs> oh no, it's Ragnaros! Oh. This is the bottom floor. Huh? What is this place? It's too dang dark! I, I haven't the slightest idea. I never knew this place existed. I found many new places in this castle while I was looking for Ike, but I never dreamt of looking here. That's because we didn't really- I'm surprised he made that comment since we looked everywhere but the castle for Ike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then maybe somewhere deep in here? Uh, that's right! Maybe Ike is somewhere in this place! Yes, maybe. I think we ought to at least check it out. Ho 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 ho! Well, let's go then! Oh, why not? I did come here to see something unusual, so I might as well go along. Really? You came- I guess the elevator would be unusual. Um... I sense a boss fight coming up! Yeah, we'll just leave like this. It's gonna be Sebastian, isn't it? We knew he was evil. <laughs> hey, Shizu. The elevator's working nicely now. Yeah, I noticed. For a second I thought it was a giant pitchfork. <laughs> Like a giant, a giant's pitchfork. Whoa! Oh, there are fights down here. Goodness, I actually forgot about that. And it's so dang dark, I can't see. It lights up occasionally. Still had, it's, it's a good thing we still have Mel with us, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he just kind of flapped around and then he woke up berserk, so... Alright, I'm gonna stop messing around then if there's any fights down here. So wait, if IK is down here, does that mean he can, like, he's, like, fighting all these bunnies in Mega... Did you say Mega Walkie? I think so. Like a Jabberwocky? No, it's a Mega Walkie. Mega Walkie. Like how one stands up while still asleep. Astronauts sleep while they're standing. What's the problem with Juan doing it? Are you saying that they do that in space? Or yeah, like in space. On, on Earth? In space. Because, I mean, they're still an astronaut on Earth, so... <laughs> well, they might practice on Earth, you don't know. And of course, now we got the monster standing on dead bodies. What is that thing going on here? Didn't we have a video where they were always walking on a dead body? Although, recently I had a conversation with somebody. So I always say dead body. Like, well, did you say live body? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I suppose you could. I mean, we. Yeah, that's a thing. I guess. It's like ever since that conversation we had about the about half tempted, it's like I have to catch myself. I'm like, well, that doesn't really exist. I can't keep saying half tempted. I mean, you think about it. We say like a live person, right? Like That's we true. we wouldn't say a live body because when they're living, it's a person. There's a fork in the corridor. 
We'll pick it up and use it to eat. <laughs> sure is. Hmm. Throw your spear on the floor and we'll know which way to go. How about we take the one on the right first? Okay, so here's the problem. Thomas, you are now facing away from it. So which one is right? Is it your right or our right? The right one. Okay. Let's just make this quick. We can check them both out by splitting into two groups. You and Cecile- Ooh, yeah. You and Cecile go that way, and me and the old man will check out the other. Uh, but... I just want to get this over with. Come on, let's go, old man. <laughs> Stop calling me old man! I am the great fortune teller! I don't care how great you are, let's just go. Goodness gracious. Let's see who's Sebastian going with. Fine with me. This way, then. There is nothing to be worried about, Thomas. Uh, I, I will go along with you. I'll, I'll be right behind you. Excuse me. I'm going with Cecile. <laughs> I'm game. Here we go. No. You cannot come with us. He's chaperoning you. Okay. You're right, I bet he is. Of course, Mel's been here with us the whole time, so... Yeah. To experience the elevator. I mean, yeah, recruiting Mel early was definitely a nice thing, but it's just kind of weird that she's along for the ride now. Yeah. Well, can you imagine being in this part without having recruited her or somebody else? It's it's definitely harder, but it's doable. They're not too difficult. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of which, so I was playing. I got the uh, virtual console version of Pokemon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just beat the first uh, final four. Nice. And it's the first time I've ever beaten a final four in Pokemon, and I didn't have six Pokemon on my team. I only had five. In fact, up until the final four, I only had four, but I had to get a fifth Pokemon to get through it. Hmm. So why did you only go with that many? I didn't need any more. <laughs> like I just normally I keep picking up Pokemon when I feel like I need them, but I never felt like that this game. It was weird. Makes sense. Although Helper still holds the record, he beat uh, Pokemon Pearl with only three Pokemon. That guy, he's just kind of ridiculous at times. You know that? I mean, like, just a little bit. Yeah, he, he actually wants to try to beat that. He wants to see if he can begin with only two. Um, I'm not sure. He, he hasn't been able to do it. I mean, I would imagine it's possible, but it's just a question of how much it, is it going to take. But I don't know... I don't know what Pokemon I want for my sixth one. So if you guys have any suggestions, you know. I'm playing the, like, the actual Generation 2 version, so... Um, I can't do all those like things where you can like play the sounds and on the radio to attract non-Generation 2 Pokemon. So I'm gonna recommend that you pick one that's not as popular, like you know, an off-beaten path one. So I have a, I'm probably gonna butcher something. A Don Donphan, Donphan. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I don't remember. I know it was in the anime, but I can't remember how Ash pronounces it. Uh, it's a ground type, and I have a Mill Tank, which actually surprises me on how useful she is. Um, I have a Meganium, which is the grass starter. I have a Skarmory, which was the one I added at the last second. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have a Slowbro, because I really like them. We've come to an open space. Shh, be quiet, Thomas. Look over there. It's a wild Badoof. It's more darkness. It's a Badoof. <laughs> who, who, who could be hiding in such a place? Hard to believe anyone would. Perhaps Ike has been kidnapped and is being held for ransom. D dear me, another cost we don't need. <laughs> He's more worried about the cost of the ransom than for mm -hmm. Ike. Plus, we haven't gotten a ransom note, so... Though they're about to deliver it. Well, well I, I don't know about that. Come on, Thomas, we'll charge him. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Don't worry. hi -ha! Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> No points for that. No points for that, for sure. Ugh. Huh? Cecile, what are you trying to do? 
Wanted, Mr. Piccolo? What do you know? Both quarters converge here. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we're back. Hey, um, game has helpfully turned me around, so I'm not sure which way I'm facing. You know, I'm just thinking it's a good thing that Cecile is incompetent with that spear halberd that she has. She could have really hurt somebody. Yeah. Hey, well, what's that sound? Cecile, try to control your charging instincts, will you? Oh, all right. I'm sorry I was wrong before. Anyway, let's go in. Uh, are you sure this is safe? There could be some double-headed serpent down here that's really, really hungry. And it has teeth. As they do, usually. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Remember that was one of my beefs with the double-headed snake in Suikin 2, is it had teeth. Was it? Yeah. Not like, not like fangs, but actual teeth. I don't remember that. IK! Well, I see everyone's all here. Have you come to read as well? What are you talking about? You've been gone for weeks now. We were worried, so we came looking for you. Oh, bother. Didn't mean to put you on alert. I lose track of time when I'm down here. Well, thank goodness you're alright. Do you come here often just to read? Yes, it's quiet and cool down here. Most importantly, kids don't come around much. Taking the time to read books is my favorite thing. I've got to get back now, but please feel free to use this space anytime. It's uh, a long way to come for this. And yet it's worth it. Like, I remember when we were in college, like, you would find your special study spot, and, like, that would be your spot. Like, you would protect that spot to make sure others didn't encroach on it. Yeah. Ugh, that guy is weird. But I'm sure that he's okay. Besides, now we've solved the mystery of his occasional disappearances. That's right. Well, I suppose we should get going. Oh, um, Thomas? What is it, Mr. Sebastian? Don't you wonder how I got down here in the first place? <laughs> and, mm. they, and they leave it unanswered. Yeah. What I'm surprised is the cave's not full of smoke with that fire going. Right? Oh, and we finally finished Thomas's chapter. Oh, but there is a chapter too. Yeah. I see his whole picture here. Wow, that didn't take forever. <clears throat> what time? How? We're 20 minutes. I think this is a good place to stop, actually. And then in the next video, we will pick up with another character who will hopefully be slightly more interesting than Thomas. What are you talking about? Thomas is a, a stupendous character. Well-rounded, balanced, weak. <laughs> He's not weak anymore, not after fighting all those bunnies. <laughs> uh, he was getting knocked over pretty handily. <laughs> Yeah, it, it took me, I think I spent like an hour trying to level him up and he still was getting taken out, yay, verily. So. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye, guys.